Hey guys, I don't know about y'all, but if you haven't realized, life's kind of getting a little on the rougher side. I don't know if you guys can hear me okay or not. Hopefully you can. I'm walking in leaves in my yard. But anyway... The reason I'm making this video right now is because I'm one of the 7 billion people on the earth right now that's trying to figure out what do I do next? What's the next step I make? You know, I've racked my head, I've racked my brain, and not to be a religious nut, but I've prayed and prayed and prayed, God, what do I do? The thing that I keep hearing the most <clears throat> what would Jesus do? You know, Jesus was a five foot nine Jewish man that walked in Israel a little over 2,000 years ago. And he preached the gospel. He made sure that he preached it from the mountaintops, from the housetops, in and, in and around the streets. And he made sure that his voice was loud enough for everybody to hear but then there was times where he hid himself. He hid himself from the Pharisees and Sadducees when they tried to take take control of him. He hid himself from the government a couple of occasions. And then there was times where he was just sitting on the hillside, just talking to a couple of friends, telling what his relationship was with God. So I've asked myself, I asked myself, I said, okay, well, what would Jesus do? And I guess that's the reason why I'm here making this video now is I'm, I'm going through it, man. I'm going through the storm just like everybody else is, but I wanted to preach the gospel. I wanted to tell you that, you know what? There is a God. There is truth. And the truth is that the Lord that I know, Yahovah, behold the hand, behold the nail. He's the one that came and sacrificed his only begotten son himself in the flesh. His spirit came and dwelled in a man that we know of as Jesus. So that you and I could have the opportunity to become all that he has called us to be. We are called for such a time as this. You know, life, life is rough. But you're called. Find your purpose. I know there's a lot of people that work at Walmart. There's a lot of people that work in factories or Amazon or wherever you work that are trying to find their purpose. Is this what I'm supposed to do? I can't tell you. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But I can say this. God knows. And when you give your life over to him, I tell you what, he's going to find. He's going to find you. Send your heart. Get in alignment with him, and he'll guide you, your steps. He'll be the light upon your path. You know, and even though you walk through the valley of shadow of death, you won't fear any evil because he's with you. He's the fire that stirs up your spirit. He's the fire that gets you to want to get out of your comfort zone and step out of the box and say, look, I'm more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I I can't overcome this situation, this this crap that I'm going through, whatever that is. And I tell you what, man, I'm, I'm not in debt, but I've got a lot going on, just like you all do. And, uh, you know, I've been like, I can't always see what the answer is. But I tell you what, man, 34 years now, I've been... I've been looking for the truth, and I really firmly believe that the truth is Jesus Christ. And he points us back to the Father. So if we have a relationship with the Father, why can't that anointing come upon us? Why can't we go into the streets and preach the gospel to whoever it is? Um, when we're at work, look at it as church. You know, preach the gospel as, at, like if you're at church. You're called. So answer the call. Stop babying about about yourself and, and do something. Live. 
be alive, love, grow. Until next time, this is Andrew.